Please all kneel as we now pray the Novena Prayer to the Sacred Heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All together, Divine Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Behold me kneeling at your feet, filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips. I come to ask this favor. To whom can I turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits? Where should I seek if not in the treasure, which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where must I knock if not at the door through which God gives himself to us and through which we go to God? I have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you I find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, I firmly believe that you can grant me the grace I implore, even though it should require a miracle. You have only to will it, and my prayer will be granted. I admit that I am most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for me to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon me a look of mercy. I beg of you, and your kind heart will find in my miseries and weakness a reason for granting my prayer. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, Whatever may be your decision with regard to my request, I will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. My Jesus, be pleased to accept this, my act of perfect resignation to the de decrease of your adorable heart, which I sincerely desire, may be fulfilled in and by me and all your creatures forever. Sacred heart of Jesus, I know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon me, I beg of you, dear Jesus, 
and grant me the grace for which I humbly implore you through the immaculate heart of your most sorrowful mother. You have entrusted me to her as her child, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Please stand for the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today, we celebrate the memorial of St. Blaise. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Danichi Wee. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Baby, you're the blessings He brings to those who trust in His ways. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and, and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications your people make under the patronage of the martyr Saint Blaise, and grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Oh. 
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality. For through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as of sharing their imprisonment and of all the ill-treated as of yourselves. For you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled. For God will judge the immoral and adulterers, and your life be free from love of money. But be content with what you have, for he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus, we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper and I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember, your leaders who spoke the word of God to you, consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. For he will hide me in his abode. In the day of trouble, he will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread, and people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying, he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, It is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. 
Herod was the one who had John arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask of me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring her back his head. He went off and beheaded him in the prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. My friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. If there is one common thing about our lead characters today, we have two lead characters, St. John the Baptist and our saint for today, St. Blaise, which we commemorate today. If there is one common thing about these two people, it is that they are both martyrs. Sabi nyo nga po, martyr. There are two things, two things that we could learn about being a martyr. First, both St. John and St. Blaise died for God. A martyr dies for God. Si Juan Bautista, we heard in our gospel, was beheaded, pinugutan ng ulo, because of preaching the word of God. Tinatamaan kasi, nasasaktan kasi si Haring Herodes sa tuwing nangangaral itong si Juan Bautista. Ano ba yung pinapangaral ni Juan Bautista na nasasaktan itong si Haring Herodes? Huwag mong asawahin ang asawa ng iba. Huwag mong asawahin ang asawa ng iba. Kasi itong si Haring Herodes, inasawa ang asawa ng kapatid niya. Kaya naman, kahit na gustong-gusto ni Haring Herodes na 
nakikinig kay Juan Bautista, nasasaktan siya kasi mali ang ginagawa niya. Nagagalit siya kasi natatamaan siya sa pangaral ni Juan Bautista. Kaya nga, isang araw ng birthday nitong Haring Herodes, sumayaw ang anak ni Herodias. Si Herodias yung inasawa niya. Sumayaw yung anak ni Herodias at natuwa ang lahat sa sayaw ng anak ni Herodias. Ang pangako ng hari, ibibigay ko kahit anong hingin mo. Grabe no? Ano kayang sayaw yun? Na-imagine nyo ba? Ano kayang klasing sayaw yung sasabihin ng hari, ibibigay ko kahit kalahati ng kaharian ko. Wow! Galing siguro sumayaw. No? I cannot imagine what kind of dance was that. No? Humiling ang bata sa pamamagitan ng kanyang ina at ang hiningi, ulo ni Juan Bautista. Bakit ulo? Ganyan kasi, di ba? Pag may ginagawa kang mali, pagtatakpan mo. Pero kakaiba ito. No? Ang pagtatakip na ginawa nila, isa pang kasalanan. Para bang pag pinatay nila, ang nangangaral sa kanila, para bang magiging tama ang ginagawa nilang mali. Pero sa huli, sila pa rin nasunod. Pinugutan ng ulo si Juan Bautista dahil sa pangangaral ng salita ng Diyos. Samantala, si Saint Blaise, isang doktor, bago siya nag-aral ng pananampalataya at naging obispo. Doktor na itong si Saint Blaise, nagpapagaling ng mga may sakit. At sa sobrang kanyang pananampalataya sa Diyos, inaral niya ang pananampalataya hanggang naging obispo. Imagine that, no? Sa sobrang katapatan niya sa Diyos, naging obispo. At during that time, ang mga Kristiyano ay inuusig, pinagpapatay, nalaman ng emperor na Romano na siya ay isang Kristiyano. Kaya naman, he was forced to renounce his faith. But he refused to renounce his faith. Nanatili siya, nanandi, nanindigan siya kahit na siya'y patayin. Nang dinadala na siya sa kanyang kulungan, mayroong isang bata na natinik. Natinik. Uubo-ubo. Natinik. At yung bata... Sa sobrang lala ng pagkatinik, halos ikamatay niya ito. Habang siya ay dinadala sa kanyang kulungan, pinagaling pa niya ang batang mayroong tinik. Gumaling ang bata at naligtas sa kamatayan. Pero si St. Blaise, hindi. Hindi nakaligtas. Pinatay. Pinugutan ng ulo. Pero alam nyo, bago siya pinugutan ng ulo, yung suklay na bakal, imagine nyo, suklay na bakal, pinagkakalmot sa kanyang katawan. Para lang i-renounce niya yung kanyang faith. Para lang talikuran niya, pero hindi niya tinalikuran. Kaya sa huli, pinugutan siya ng ulo. St. John the Baptist and St. Blaise, both of them, are martyrs because they died for God. Pangalawa na matututunan natin sa isang martyr, a martyr remains faithful despite struggle. Ang martyr tapat sa kabila ng pagsubok at hirap. Malinaw, kay Juan Bautista at kay Saint Blaise ang tama at mabuti kaya kahit pinahihirapan, kahit sinusubok, hindi sila bumitiw sa kung anong tama at mabuti. Ang dali, ipagpalit ang ating paniniwala, lalo na kapag nahihirapan. Ang daling isuko ang prinsipyo kapag nahaharap na sa pagsubok. Hmm, ba? Diba? Magipit lang tayo ng konti. Oh, oh, sige na nga, manluloko na lang ako. 
Magipit lang ng konti, mangungupit na lang ako. Ang dali, isuko ang ating mga prinsipyo at paniniwala kapag naharap na sa pagsubok. Pero itong si St. John at St. Blaise na natiling tapat kahit na pinahihirapan. Ito po ang ibig sabihin ng pagiging martir. Kayang ibigay ang sarili para sa Diyos. Kayang ibigay ang sarili para sa iba at nananatiling tapat sa kabila ng pagsubok at hirap. Nakakatuwa, alam nyo po, marami pa rin naman ang ganito sa atin ngayon. Marami pa namang kumikilos na parang martir. Ayaw lang magpatawag na martir. ba? Diba? Kasi pag tinawag na martir, no, ang pangit. No? Pakiramdam natin pag martir, negative. Pero marami pa rin ganito. Sino tong mga to? Yung mga nangingibang bansa, kahit na nangungulila. Sila yung mga nagtuturo ng libre kapag hindi nauunawaan ng estudyante. Sila yung mga nanggagamot kahit walang bayad. Ginagastos ang sweldo at nag-aabono. Magampanan lang ang trabaho. Sila yung mga naghihirap magtinda pero hindi nanluloko o nambubudol. Sila yung mga binabatikos pero nananatili pa rin tapat at totoo. Sila yung mga nahihirapan pero lumalaban. Yung kumakapit sa pangako at sa sinumpaan kahit na niloloko at nasasaktan. Martir ang tawag natin sa kanila dahil kaya nilang ibigay ang kanilang sarili kahit na nahihirapan at nasasaktan. Nananatiling tapat, nananatiling mabuti sa kabila ng pagsubok, sila po yung kailangan natin sa mundo ngayon. Sila yung magbibigay inspirasyon para tayo ay patuloy na lumaban at gumawa ng kabutihan. Ngayon, kung tignan ng mundo ang martir, parang, sorry for the word, T-A-N-G-A. Diba ganyan? Kapag martir, ang tingin natin, ganun. Kaya nga yung mga martir, ayaw sinasabi. Ayaw sinasabi na kahit niloloko ng asawa, nananatili. Ayaw sinasabi na kahit na nag-overtime, ayaw magpabayad. Kasi tingin ng iba, T-A-N-G-A. Hindi po. Hindi ganyan ang martir. Kung ikaw ay martir, wag mong ikahiya. Dahil kahit kailan, hindi nakakahiyang gumawa ng mabuti. Amen. Please stand. Our struggle against the forces of evil will be successful to the degree we unite ourselves in prayer. Let us pray to God of truth as we say and pray. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. That the leaders of the church, like St. John, may become courageous proclaimers of the gospel of truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. That we may give wholehearted support to the church struggle against those dark forces that enslave men to violence and crime. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. That as Christians, we may be vocal in our concern against those who exploit and for those who are exploited through political pressure and corrupt practices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. That those who are victims of oppression may finally gain justice, freedom, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. 
that those who suffered and died in faith may gain their heavenly reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let us walk always in your truth. Heavenly Father, your love for us never changes or fades away. Give us the courage to walk in your presence all the days of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace, may we be set afire with the flame of your love through which St. Blaise overcame every bodily torment. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very suffering are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Blaise, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr, Saint Blaise, faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
we shall have the blessing of candles. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. O God of gentleness and might, by thy word alone thou didst create the manifold things of the world and didst cause this same word, maker of all things, to take flesh in order to repurchase us. Thou art great and wonderful deeds, wherefore in professing this filthy to thee, the glorious martyr and bishop Blaise did not fear any manner of torment but gladly accept the palm of martyrdom, in virtue of which, among other gifts, thou didst bestow on him with prerogative of healing all ailments of the throat. Thus, we beg thy mercy that overlooking our guilt and considering only his merits and intercession, thou wouldst deign to bless and sanctify and bestow thy grace on these candles and let all christians of good faith whose neck are touched with them be healed of every malady of the throat and being restored in health and cheer let them return thanks to thy church and give praise to thy wondrous name which is blessed forever through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, eternally. Amen. Amen. Through the intercession of Saint Blaise, Bishop and Martyr, may God deliver thee from sickness of the throat and from every other evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So we pray to St. Blaise, kung meron man po kayo nararamdaman sa inyong mga lalamunan, we call on the intercession of St. Blaise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, oh.